picture this. Just yesterday, I went to the biggest second-hand golf shop in the whole of England, and I found a set of irons that not only tugged on my heartstrings, but also scared the life out of me. These are coming with me. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to the channel. Today I am using these. Let's get a close up on these because I can't believe, first of all, that I found them, second of all, how good they look, and third of all, that we are going to have a challenge using just these golf clubs today. Guys, these are the smallest irons I've ever seen. These were commissioned by Ricky Fowler for Cobra. As you can see, they have his initials on them and they actually look scarily small. So I thought I'd come out today on a freezing cold day, see what we can shoot around Waterfront Golf Club. I've also been on the Trapman range for a bit of a warm up with these just to get my eye in and you'll see how far they go now. a little bit toey, that's going to be short. That's as good as I've got again. You know when you get them right, nothing really feels like them. As you can see, the average for the 99 there, 132, 134 total. That's not the entire story though. You see, as soon as I get a miss hit, even with the 9 iron, we are losing almost 11 yards there. 7 iron, again, you can see a huge difference there between a good shot and a bad shot, and then an in-between shot. And then we look at the 4 iron numbers, 195, 185, 178, they're all over the shop, averaging 186, 195 total so as you can see hopefully we are going to hit the middle more often than not guys get in the comments below what are we going to shoot with these i got these from golf clubs for cash not a bad price actually and just look at that this is the four iron and honestly that blade length is petrifying i've never seen anything like that i've never seen a top line that thin i've also never seen such little offset um i'm not sure if i'm looking forward to this or not certainly wouldn't think i wouldn't like to think i was playing for a round of golf for money with these Saying that neither did Ricky Fowler because I don't think he used them for long. Oh, but if you hit them like that, now I'm not sure how far that's gone, but that felt really enjoyable. Maybe that is the aim of the game when playing Cobra RF forged irons. Should we just stay here and look at them for 10 minutes? No, we'll go and play. Now, there's not often a set of irons that I'm jealous when people get hold of, but whenever I've seen anyone test these, I thought, you know what, I need to get hold of them, I need to play with them, I need to see if they are as unforgiving as people say. So that's exactly what we're going to find out today. I'm just going to show you a close-up again, because I honestly can't think of a golf club that looks as good as this. Even that finish, that copper finish for me, really, really does it. Should I put them in the bag? Guys, I tell you what, if this video gets 30,000 likes, I looked last night, my average videos get around 10 to 15,000 likes. This gets 30,000 likes, I will put these in the bag for the entire of the 2023 season. That could be absolute golf suicide, but the way that four iron went, I'm feeling quite, quite happy about it. So 30,000 likes guys, and I will put them in the bag all year. I've never had a golf club where I don't want to put this back in the bag because I'm just I'm catching the different glimpses in the sun and it looks that good. That glimpse there where it's like gleams off it. These are actually in really good condition as well from Golf Clubs for Cash. Really good. Brand new grips on them. They are Masters grips. They're not Golf Pride, but I could change them. KBS S Taper Shafts, 130. Tiny bit heavy for me, but I don't particularly mind. And here we are. It's middle of the fairway. Well, that is uh, the time of year. Let's see how far we've got here. On the range, when I hit them well, they went okay. The distances were fine. Like the seven iron was around that 160. My seven iron usually go 165. But I could cope with a little bit of a distance loss for that feel. I don't know why I'm trying to talk myself into these, but we have 176. So I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go five iron. It's, it's a cold day. There's no point thinking that we are Gonna hit these a long way. And it's funny, you know, because I spend my life recommending to people that you use forgiving irons, use irons that are gonna help your game, a little bit stronger lofted, a little bit more technology. I mean, the technology in this, as you can see, that really does show just how uh, how short that blade length is. I might, this might not even be enough, you know. Try and turn it over, play a bit of a draw. Oh my, I've hit that so good. Guys, get liking this video because that could go in. Look where that's gone. I did not anticipate this to go this well so far. Yes, I've hit four iron, five iron to the opening hole, which should be a driver wedge, but I'm having the time of my life. So 
all's forgiven. I mean, okay, it's not exactly flag high, but it is down its throat. By the way, how good's the zoom on this new camera? Are you impressed with that? <laughs> and the great thing about this shot is, I hate to be that guy who talks you through a good shot, but it's not getting further and further away. It's one of those that's actually getting closer and closer the closer we get. Does this make me Ricky Fowler? Not sure if it does. Probably not, but we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a short, yeah. Now that's actually stopped on a dime as well. Obviously it is winter, the greens are a bit wet. With a five iron, you'd expect that to maybe run out. So the distance isn't too bad. Obviously a Cobra Forge Tech would go further, a P770 would go further. Even maybe a Mizuno 223, which I'm gaming, would go further. But would it feel as nice? Would it be as enjoyable? Would you have that sense of achievement for not shanking the five iron? Go on, go on. Oh, that was the birdie the first hole with those irons. Really wish I wouldn't have left that short, but it's an easy enough four. Guys, get in the comments below, what are we gonna score? And remember, 30,000 likes, and these irons will go in my bag for the whole 12 months of 2023. I'm sort of hoping it happens because it would be quite a story, but let's move on. I've even perched these on this little fence to stop them getting dirty. That's how much I'm enjoying this. If you got watch my channel, guys, you will know that I don't really look after clubs as well as I should. I don't want to get these too dirty or upset them too much because they're basically a work of art aren't they they're the irons that you may well just hang in your office at home or in your office at work or just having a cabinet maybe these have actually had some wear as well like you look at the six iron and the eight iron and that leading edge or that bottom should i say it started to lose a bit of its copper that's because obviously if you have these clubs you have to be practicing a couple of times a week so whoever did have them in the past and decided they're not for them oh they're 649 that's not a bad price at all is it 649 for these irons with kbss taper shafts he still decided they weren't for him after hours at the range hours now the key for me in iron only videos is strategic planning so I'm going to hit four iron off this par 5 tee, then probably another four iron up to hopefully around 100, 130 yards. Then we're going to see what the pitching wedge is like because there's nothing more annoying than hitting a bad tee shot. Well, there is because my point is the only other thing that is more annoying than hitting a bad tee shot is getting to 100, see, we'll not drop them, is getting to 100, 120, 130 yards and then missing the green. As you can see, this pitching wedge doesn't look like it bodes that well for forgiveness. Um, but we'll see when we get up there, hopefully. Look at that, wow. So how versatile is this four iron off the deck? Can we get it still going 200 yards with a nice low one into the wind? Try and play a bit of a draw here, a bit of a stinger. Oh yeah, a lovely low little draw there up the left side. I don't think that's gone 200 yards. I don't think that will struck out the middle. I don't think I should really be playing these irons for the entirety of 2023. But remember, 30,000 likes, and uh, they're in there. And you know, it's funny, I can't imagine being, well, I can't imagine being anyone like Ricky Fowler, but I can't imagine being Ricky Fowler, having these irons commissioned and Cobra going, look, Ricky, we've made you a set of clubs here. These have your name on them. You want something difficult to hit. You want something that looks beautiful. And then going after a few rounds, guys, um, I mean, what you've done with them is, is great. Like, I really appreciate what you've done with the irons. They look fantastic and they've got my logo on them, but I can't hit them. He didn't have them in the bag for very long, did he? Um, not 12 months. <laughs> right, certainly not the longest tee shot I've ever hit on this hole, but not the shortest as well. We are into the wind, it is winter. It was a low shot. I wasn't trying to hit a high shot downwind that was going 230, 240, which sometimes you may get with a power lofted four iron. Going four iron again, the big reason why I'm testing this club out more than any others is because let's be fair, it literally looks, it looks breathtaking, but it looks slightly worrying at the same time. Probably need another 200 yards here, ideally. Sat down a bit as well, this isn't ideal. I've just hit that really good again. Like the thing is, it feels good. And I reckon that's probably gone 170 yards maximum into the wind. You, you don't really get the feedback of it's going a long way, but does that matter? I don't play competitive golf either. That's probably why I'm thinking I could play these and I might lose every match against Chris, Gaz, my brother and my dad. And would I care? I don't really know, I can't answer that. 
I mean, again, accuracy wise here, I can't really complain with that. That's middle of the fairway. I think it's pretty much the yardage I wanted. I bet I've got around 100 yards here. Hopefully I've got a bit less, because if I have, it shows that I can hit them an okay distance. This is a par five after all. And I can play a little knockdown pitching wedge, which again, for me, is it frustrating to miss the green from here? Absolutely. But do you feel like you're more of an artist with this? Look at this. Let's just get, let's show this because I've never seen a golf club look that scary from this distance in all my life. That looks absolutely petrifying. I'll make sure there's no more mud on the ball because it is, that's a lesson to everyone as well. If I'd have hit that ball that looked clean, it could have gone anywhere with that mud patch on it. So, I mean, essentially we might be saying here, we've got 100% fairways hit and greens hit if we have a couple more holes at it. 91, perfect, just what we wanted. What's the wind doing? I'm gonna proper go through a routine here, just into off right, 91. Probably playing, playing 100 with the wind, a little sawn off wedge. That's gone really high, a lot higher than I thought. And it's gonna turn a bit long. Okay, the 100%, I'll get the divot, I'll get the divot. If we're clinging on to positives, it wasn't a bad strike, it went too far. So I wasn't anticipating that. Even after that shot, I'm still thinking like, you know what, you might, it might be a bit stupid, but having these in the bag for me would be so cool. I'd have to maybe pimp them out a bit, I'd get some, maybe some multi-compound, some aligned shafts in these would be absolutely perfect. I'm quite enjoying the 130 shaft as well. I thought it'd be too heavy, but I haven't really noticed a difference between my S-Taper 120. It's only 10 grams a shaft, and the heads can't weigh that much, can they? Kind of a bit long and left. I, to be honest, I probably just pulled it. I'm gonna stick with the pitching wedge. How versatile is it around the greens? Get down there, get down there. Quite enjoyed that. Always comes down to the putter, and that is another par. Guys, we're gonna play one more hole, we're gonna play a par three, I'm gonna send a few shots into here, see how close we can get. I did have a hole in one, kind of, with a Cobrian this year, the Forge Tech. This is a slightly different animal, isn't it? See how close we can get. Okay, this is it. Can we get anything close to this flag? Guys, I really hope you're enjoying this video because I'm absolutely loving it. I'd love to put these irons in the bag. Does it really matter? A lot of people, when I tested the new tailor-made blades, said, James, it doesn't matter what you use. If you use blades, it might make you focus more, you might practice harder. So I think this could be the case here. 166 yards. You know what? Downwind, could I go eight? I think with a normal club I could, but I'm gonna go seven, so very much middle of the pack. We've not hit Medi mid irons so far. Can we hit the green three times here? We're gonna take the worst shot. It's easy to take the best shot. We're gonna take the worst shot and see just how, how good or how bad these clubs could be for me. Must say as well, like for Cobra as well, as a manufacturer, these clubs feel as good as anything I have tested. Off the deck, seven iron. I might change to eight after one. Draw in over the bunker. Oh, stay there. That's long. It's not too bad. It's definitely an eight iron though. See, they go far. They go, well, they don't go far, but they're not bad. If you get them out of the middle, they're okay. Very, very traditional lofted as you would expect, but come on. Maybe a fade against the wind. Maybe that's the shot. Artistry. Oh, nice. Again, it's a touch left. I'm pulling a lot of these. That's left-hand side of the green. Final shot. You've got no problem getting that top line under the ball. Come on, James. This is what you've come out for, these shots. That one. That one. Yes, please. Certainly not set the world light with those but some enjoyable shots, some decent golf swings. I don't think we're gonna make him birdie from that first shot though. So as you can see there, quite consistent distances. So the eight iron wasn't quite enough, which from 165, I would anticipate. The seven iron was just a little bit too much. It maybe caught a gust of wind. One thing which I've taken from that is actually the consistency level. If you do hit them out the middle like I did do, 
is quite good. An eight iron for me is a 150 club. And that's showing here, the six iron or the seven iron, should I say, maybe just wasn't the right shot at that moment with the gust of wind that blew. I think the worst one is probably the first one, the seven iron. I'm going to chip with a pitching wedge again, see if we can rescue another par. I don't think I would score my best scores with these, spoiler alert, but I'd enjoy doing it. Let me run with the pitching wedge. I really enjoyed it on the last hole. Move the uh, goose poo. Go on, go on. And that for me kind of shows what you get with the short irons as well. That felt really, really good. I felt in control of it the whole time. It was never going to cannon off that face. There's no hollow body technology. There's no speed foam. There's not, there's nothing. Guys, I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll pop it in. I was going to give myself it, but. Guys, that is level part using Ricky Fowler's bladed irons here at a cold, blustery waterfront golf club. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've loved that. Do you want to see an 18 hole video with these? Do you want to see more content with them? And do you want to see them in my bag? If you do, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's see what happens moving forward into 2023. 30,000 likes and they have to go in. Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.